Hello, I'm Michael van Gerwen. Welcome to Behind the Bar with Paul Starr. Welcome to Behind the Bar with Paul Starr, brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diets Championship. As Robert Thornton lands £100,000 first prize for a 5 4 win in the final of the World Grand Prix in Dublin against Michael Van Gerwen. And we have no other than Hawaii 5 1, Mr. Wayne Mardell, to talk us through the action. How are you doing, Wayne? I'm all good, Paul. Yourself? Yeah, very, very well, but not as well as a man who's tipping up 80 to 1 shots on, on his Betfair um, page with Robert Thornton to land the Grand Prix. Nice work, Wayne. But to be honest, it's horses for courses. Even people think darts is darts, it, it's not. Over short course darts, I reckon, as in best of 11, one of the best players would be the likes of Yellow Classen. You back him over a longer distance, you know that he's going to go miss in and probably lose. Yeah. Double start, I'm sorry, it belongs to a couple of men. That's Phil Taylor, Michael Van Gerwen, James Wade, and an 80-1 to 1 shot, Robert Thornton. Well, the only four you can back, in my opinion. And I've also been told that, hey, you, you, got the, you actually got the finalists as well. You actually picked the two finalists. Look, every dog has their day, <laughs> and uh, I had mine, and Robert and Michael nearly had his. Yeah, well... To be honest, I mean, in the final, not many people were giving uh, Robert a, a chance. But in to compete against a player who landed 18 maximums, that's impressive work. And of course, it's, an, it's his second major. You know, people forget he won the UK Open. You know, to win two with the players of Van Guren and Anderson and Taylor's like Orang, that's, that's impressive, isn't it? It is. He is very, very good. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from Robert whatsoever. Like I just said, I, I backed him. I fancied him. But to win that final, he needed Michael to be off on an element of his game. It, more 180s, his double start was better, his scoring was better, but he missed 42 after a double, Michael Van Gerwen. That is outrageous, and he still averaged 96. With a double start. <laughs> but all, my, all Robert did was clear up every time, the, the 90 in the last set, and then he, he, he just... That was when you felt you felt that Michael had, had buckled, and he, he really had, because you can't keep throwing legs away. No. You can't, and it caught up with him in the end. But look, Robert is is a real a real gritty character. He's a superb player. He's now beaten Phil Taylor in a major final, Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah. The man could go down as one of the best ever, but yeah. he just seems to be forgotten about. Yeah, very much. And if we look, of course, everyone's talking about Phil in, in, in the course, in Michael, the, the, the Englishman and the Dutchman. But then, of course, Gary's, of course, he hosts the world. He hosts the, 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 the Premier League and, of course, the Players' Championships. These Scots, they're, they're taking over. I think they're taking over. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's quite interesting, because what you're saying that the Scots are taking over, right? The, the Scottish have got three of the top, what are they, three of the top five in the world now? Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, because we've got Thornton at five, right at four, yeah, and Anderson at two. Look at the ages of them. Yeah. Not one of them under 40. Yeah. It's so it's, and, yet, yeah. and yet the youngsters are meant to be getting better. I'm, I'm not so sure, you know. No. Van Gerwen is out there on his own as the youngster that's improving. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you, that's that's very very true. And if we look down the the rankings, they say Thornton up to five, which is great for him. And Ian White, he's been around about. He's now number eight in the world, and I think Ian White is what. If you've got a big treble going on or a four timer going on, and, and one of your big stars is playing Ian White, he he he, he does you over. How many times does he it it turn your bet out over, won't he? It is a spoiler. Yeah. It is a bit of a spoiler. And I'll tell you what, uh, just mentioning that the, the spoilers, Thornton has always been one of those. Yeah. He, he really has. You do not want him going up like your accumulator and what have you. But I, I think that he could, for the next couple of years, build on this. Because he's, he's done this before. When he won the UK Open, he was good for the next year or so. Yeah. I think this might happen again. Yeah. He's going to be in the Premier League. He's a racing certainty. Yeah. yeah. And I bet you he does many bookies over there, I'll tell you. <laughs> Very much. And by going down, looking at the, uh, the the rankings, Terry Jenkins up to number 10. You're saying about the uh, perhaps the older generation. Number number 10, and of course, he won a Pro Tour only a couple of weeks ago. 
Yeah, it won it on his 52nd birthday. 52nd birthday, in fact, yeah. Great, great work from Terry. And if we go down here, Chisnell down to 14. I know he's not defending anything, of course, in, in, in the... Uh, well, in the Players' Championship was first round. World Championship was first round. So he's got those tournaments to look at. But Dave Chisnell, realistically, should not be at World's number 14. But that's you are where you're meant to be, really. But you are, but the, the system, the system, I'm not sure works particularly great, I, I must admit, because you, like the Ronnie O'Sullivan scenario in snooker, don't tell me he's not the best snooker player in the world. Uh, Raymond Van Barneveld should not be 18, Chisnell should not be 14. They've got to go out there and do it, yes I agree, but... From, for someone to jump so many places with a good run, like Peter Wright did. Yeah. Peter Wright, on one tournament, went from obscurity to world number four, mm -hmm. when he got beat in the, semi -fi uh, the finals of the World Championship. Yeah. It, if he gets beaten in the final again, he goes from number four to probably about number 12. Yeah. Yeah. It's too big a jump for one tournament. Yeah. It's too heavy. The money, si money system, in my opinion, is not great. It should. It would always work out better on points, yeah. like it, like it does on golf. Yeah, yeah. If that was down to money, I'm not sure Jordan Spieth. Well, it, it'd be clear favourite, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be clear world number one. Yeah. But on the rankings, on the money, on the uh, points system, him, Jason Day, and Rory, they're finding it out, which I think is miles better. Yeah, it meant more perhaps. Uh correct um, way of looking at it now say so you say Barney out of the top 18 with these big tournaments coming up of the European Championship Players Championship World Championship of course the rankings are so important you don't want to be sat at world's number 16 with you know playing Michael Van Gogh in the last 16 or, or say 15 ta playing Taylor you know in, in the same round I mean these it's tough isn't it but I suppose you just want to be in there if you can be in the top 16 that's one thing but God, you, you know, was talking about Raymond, he could find himself in all sorts of trouble, you know, playing these players in early rounds. Yeah, it, it's great when you're on the way up, Paul. It's yeah. great when you're like, oh, I've broken into the world top 16 and oh, I don't care about playing Michael. When you've played these guys in finals and semi-finals and you find yourself playing them in the last 16, last 32, look, I've, I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. You end up giving it no... <laughs> Take, just make me a make me a floater, make me a wild card. Yeah. Just make me stop, make me stop this fall from grace. And you will have a stop at 10, 11, 12, which is bad enough, or you want to go down to 20, 21. You'd rather be a floater than 16 or 17. Yeah. And that's where Barney finds himself. If he keeps drawing these, these are darting machines. The yeah. likes of. Anderson, Taylor and, and Van Gerwen, they are darting machines and I'm not sure he can cope with, with their quality week in, week out because on the Pro Tours, he's going to have, he may not even be the top seed on that board. No, no, no. That, that's just, that's outrageous. <laughs> um, as we know, Barney at the moment, he's got as much fight as a, I don't know, as a dying kitten, I, I don't know, but... He's, he's got to liven up quickly. Yeah. So we're bank we're bank banking uh, put a banker in for him to win a world championship. Then you know, that's what that's that's what happens, isn't it? I backed him last year to win the worlds, and yeah. I had a real good run. Yeah, for him, made the same. Yeah. This year, no, not for me. No. no. So if we look, of course, um, other players we've got around about, Vincent van der Voort, it, it's 16. Of course, he had a great win um, in the in the in the Grand uh, in, in the Grand Prix, but then lost the match. I mean. With my word, that most amazing leg, and then doesn't win another leg. I, I mean, what a way, what a way to go out. I, I, I was, I was commentating on the game. Yeah. He lost the match and possibly a place in the semi-finals yeah. because I, I think he, he might have gone further. He yeah. might have reached the final. Who's yeah. to say? He was playing well, but to be so mentally weak, like his countryman Barney. Mm. He should have won the set and gone two sets to nil up. Well, when he didn't, that was it. Yeah. He completely and utterly capitulated. Yeah. Vincent, over the last two years, has not really done that. He's yeah. not shown he's got that capability anymore. He, he, he's a bit been stronger than that. Yeah. But Mensur, this Vincent went off, didn't he? Yeah. And Mensur yeah. then decided to. Do you know what? I'm going to show you. Yeah. I'm going to show you what I can do. And full credit to him. Yeah. He punished him. So, here you go, um, on their day, 
Eric Bristow double 16, James Wade double top, or Mensah Sudovic double 14. Who's the best? <laughs> Mensah Sudovic? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, I'll tell you what, uh, probably because it's recent, Bristow on 32 is an absolute machine, you're yeah. right. But James Wade, oh my. You, you wouldn't want any other player going for any other double, would you? No, no. 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 Because the pressure he can handle, yeah. I'm not sure Mensur withstood the pressure in the end. Yeah. Bristow, he can't handle any pressure. <laughs> no, but it is odd. I've done an exhibition with James a few months ago, and the lad come up and he said, I'll tell you what, if you beat me, we'll give you £200. He said, me and Paul, 100 each. And he's a good county player who, who James played. And the, the chap left, I think, 81. And James went out on three double tops on 120 to save us 100 each. I thought, yes, you are the king on double top, James. <laughs> yes. Top, tops and tens is, yeah. is the absolute... He's a machine. That's why they call him that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Wayne, I'll tell you what. Thank you so much for joining us on, on Behind the Bar. So much to come up um, for the rest of the PDC year, the year building up to the World Championship. Who wins the World Championship, Wayne? Oh, who wins the World right. Championship? Right, now, now the World Championships, are, uh, uh, thanks for having me first off, yeah. but there's just a couple more things that I want to talk about, oh, if you don't on. mind. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Right. We've got as much the, time. the European Championships, I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure everyone's mind's on it. I, I just don't think yeah. it is. There, there'll be some great yeah. parts from because the format lends itself to it. Yeah. But the Grand Slam, yeah. I'm absolutely convinced James Wade will reach the final. Really? I'm convinced. Really? Get him out of the group. Get him in the longer format. So yeah. It's a bit like the match play in that, that was Yeah, it is. Yeah. And people think because he lost first round of the Grand Grand Prix, Grand Prix, he's not playing well. He played well. That game against Mensur Sulevich was one of the highest quality double in, double out games I've ever seen. Yeah. 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 And he can take a lot from it. I know he lost and he'd be disappointed. Mm. But he can take a lot from it. James Wade is playing well. And at 20s, I think he's a good price. Yeah, 20 to 1. James Wade, for God's sake. I mean, 20 to 1. It's, it's tremendous. And, hey, we've, we've even got Andy Ford. And we've got Andy Ford and Larry Butler taking part in this event. Great, isn't it? If they're in the other side of the draw and they both reach the final, I'm afraid I've done my money all week. <laughs> You've your money. <laughs> So then, uh, so yeah, twenty to one, James Wade. That 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 is a tip. So the World Championship, we want an outsider, Wayne, and we want your uh, outsider and a winner. I tell you what, I've got to stop doing, Paul. I've got to stop thinking that Michael Smith is pure silk yeah. because he, he's playing like a, a a polyester nylon mix. He, he's just not playing well at all. When he gets in front, it, it, he seems to think he's going to coast. And I've backed Michael Smith more than anyone. I've got to get him out of my mind, right? So if I go back to the St. Helens lad, yeah, ju yeah. Just, just tell me no. Right. Uh, uh, an outsider, I'll tell you I'm going to go with. But there's a long way to go till then. Yeah. I think Chizzy can have a run. Yeah, Chizzy. He, he's, he's another St. Helens lad, but the, the right one in my opinion. <laughs> the right one this, this time. Well, it's hey, because Dave, he's it, it, not worked well for him in the last few years in the World Championship. Two years ago, he's defending that money. John Henderson in the first round. I mean, no disrespect to John Henderson, but Dave Chisholm should not be losing those matches at the Alexandra Palace, should he? I, I agree, but I, I just think he needs and he will have a run somewhere along the line. Yeah. The longer format, I think, suits him yeah. because he's such a great scorer. And if he has a run of four, five, six legs, I think he can get two sets done. If he goes off, it's normally for 10 minutes rather yeah. than rather than sort of 15, yeah. 20. So he seems to be on more often than not. Yeah. And if he can just stop those... those Legs where he goes 180, 140, 140, and then misses six at a double. Yeah. If he can stop that, I think he's got a chance. Yeah, I mean, it, it's odd. Work. My, uh, I've got lots of friends who are all chizzy mad, and they all go down to Butlins for the Players' Championship, um, wearing yellow and whatever. He's never won a game down there. It's amazing. A couple, couple of years ago, he played Wayne Jones, and I love Chizzy. He played Wayne Jones in the first round. He was number one seed. Wayne Jones was 32. In 6 0. 6 0. <laughs> Everyone's walking around with Chizzy. You're laughing. Chizzy. You're laughing at his, his capitulation. Oh, I know, but he, he knows. <laughs> I, I know, and I, I, you know, I, everyone's down there with their yellow shirts on. And people are still trying to buy the yellow shirts off him. It's Chizzy. Everyone loves Chizzy, uh, Chizzy and I think, yes, he, he's ready for something. He's ready for something big, isn't he? <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm in agreement with you. He's ready to win. He's ready to win. <laughs> well, there we go, Wayne. 
Well, it's fantastic. Hopefully you've enjoyed spending your uh, Robert Thornton money, uh, Wayne, and hope you've been uh, treating uh, the, the missus well on that, hopefully. No? No. No. Okay. I didn't even tell her I won anything. <laughs> so hopefully she doesn't watch this. <laughs> Did she, she don't offer to give me back some of my losses, does no, she? No, that is very true. And Christmas is on its way, and I've heard a rumour you do, it's not just a bit of turkey for yourself, you like all the meats. I've read that before, haven't I, somewhere? Look, you don't get a physique like this for eating well. No, I'll tell you what, Wayne, you're looking very good, and thank you so much for joining us on Behind the Bar, and we look forward to seeing you again, mate. Thanks for having me. Ladies and gents, watch Behind the Bar with Paul Starr. He knows what he's on about. Cheers, Wayne. Thanks, mate. Da-da, mate. Great to catch up with Wayne Meyer, Daldat. You hear it here first. James Wade to at least make the final of the Grand Slam in Wolverhampton next month. Rest of the PDC, well, it's European Tour number nine, the final European Tour of the year this weekend in Germany. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Tunks and Tales. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And join us next week on more Behind the Bar, brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diets Championship. Yeah.